And now, Local Sports with Dustin Nolan. The Iowa Hawkeyes men's basketball team is looking for a bounce-back win today against Minnesota after having back-to-back -back losses to Purdue and Penn State. The Hawkeyes are 11-2 at home this season and looking to pick up another win, number 12. So let's go out to the action. We're going to start in the first half. Four seconds left on the clock in the first. Luke Lowy, he intercepts the inbounds pass, puts it up at half court, and somehow sinks it and beats the buzzer. It goes in Minnesota up four at the break. We go to the second half. Now Hawkeyes down one. Keegan Murray drains the go-ahead three there. Iowa up two at this point. Moments later, Hawkeyes up four on the attack, and they're looking to extend their lead. Aaron Ulis, he pulls up here and knocks down the triple. Iowa up seven at this point. Later in the second, Hawkeyes up 12. Murray, he's battling down low, gets the pass, and he's going to get the jam here at the rim. Murray fished with 24 points and 15 rebounds. Iowa wins 71 to 59. Now, the Iowa women's basketball team, they were in action as well in a top 25 battle against Michigan. The Hawkeyes and Caitlin Clark, well, they battled hard in this one, but they came up short 98 to 90. And Illinois women playing as well, taking on Wisconsin. The Badgers getting the win in this one, 70 to 62. And speaking of Illinois, the Illinois men's basketball team sits alone at the top of the Big Ten after their win over Indiana on Saturday, 74 to 57, where they played one heck of a second half and again got another big game from their big man Kofi Coburn. As Britt Barons has more on the Fighting Illini's win. <laughs> From down two at half to holding the Hoosiers to 21 in the final 20 minutes. There's a tale of two halves, and then there's this game where Illinois dominated down the stretch. Trent Frazier and Kofi Coburn combined to score 26 points in the second half. That's more than Indiana had as a team as the Illini held the Hoosiers to their worst shooting percentage of the season at 35% for the game, and that's what the Illini wanted to talk about afterwards. A lot of teams focus on offense. Um, our main focus is defense. You know, and we take such pride in that. Whenever we have a good uh, defensive game, we celebrate those. You know, to hold a team like that to 21 points, a really good offensive team like that, um, it's tremendous. Defensively, that's what we try to bring every night. You know, uh, we try to rebound our behinds off, um, bring a lot of effort, and just you know defend. And you know that's what we did tonight in the second half. Illinois head coach Brad Underwood said he challenged his team to stop fouling at halftime. The change worked, and the offense followed as the Illini closed the game on a 32 to 11 run in the final 13 minutes. I was really pleased at half to be only down two. I thought we withstood their energy, their emotion, but I thought the second half, um, our defense was terrific. We held the team to 21 points. I thought our offense allowed our defense to be great simply because we kept him out of transition. The 17-point win here at Indiana, the largest margin of victory for Illinois at Indiana since 1956, and more history for the Orange and Blue, who have now won 13 out of their last 15 Big Ten road games. All right, now let's go to the NBA 76ers and the Bulls. Second quarter, Ayo Dusumu steals the loose ball and throws it down at the other end. The former Illini star with the strong finish plus the contact. Chicago behind by seven at this point. Third quarter, DeMar DeRozan dropping the floater over the taller defender as DeRozan finished with a season high 45 points. But the Sixers, well, they were just too much in this one as they would get the win 119 to 108. And now let's go to some hockey. We've got Hester there. What a good boy he is. Storm hosting the Rivermen and the Storm looking for some payback from Saturday's loss in OT first period. Tommy staying for the goal there for the Storm as they go up one to nothing. Later in the first period, Rivermen, well, they were on the attack. But Kevin Resop, he's making the save for the Storm. This one goes in overtime, but the Storm get the win three to two. And Jerry... You know, it's always great for the Storm to finally get a win, especially getting a little payback there. But uh, I want to go back, backtrack a little bit and talk about Caitlin Clark and the effort she and the Hawkeyes did tonight. Can we just throw out guys and girls, men and women? She might be the best player, and at least in my opinion, she's the best player in the country. I, she would get my vote today if I could vote, if I was one of the voters. But nobody trusts me with that kind of responsibility. <laughs> 